would you like to get from the session? It'd be good to know where the ball's going to go for a start, because at the minute... <laughs> it's an upper body swing, isn't it? We've all got a good golf swing in there somewhere. We've got to tap into your propulsion. So this is the SAQ element. Yes, the timing pattern. Because what you're essentially doing... So this could go, now drop. This could go even lower. So drop, drop, yeah, drop. There we go. Oh, 178. What do you normally carry that? Not 160. 20 yard increase. Oh! <laughs> really good with low body. Yeah, the spring. One eight one. Oh. How often do you play at the minute then? Play about once a week at the right. right. Like and it's like it's three point two at the minute. At the minute. So yeah, but it's not really. <laughs> what would you what would you like to get from the session? Uh, I'm looking for what's going to make a difference. It'd be good to know where the ball's going to go for a start because at the minute <laughs> it can go left, it can go right. Um, I haven't got a consistent shape, so I struggle. When there is a shot that I need to hit, I've got no faith I'm going to be able to hit that particular shape of shot. Okay. And uh, the course I'm playing, it's quite tight. Yeah, excellent. Um, and especially yeah. sort of tee shot wise, most of the tee shots you've got to bend one way or the other. And I struggle to be able to have faith that it's going to go the way that I want it to go. Yeah. So I'm backing off the tee shots and trying to prod them down the fairway. Everything feels contrived. Everything feels sort of quite tense and quite tight. I've read so much literature. So obviously as a scientist, I'm trying to find stuff out. Yeah. I've read every book from bloody Harry Gordon back in the day through to you know Nick Faldo and everything in between. And I came across fairly recently George Knutson's book. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was making sense. It was different from what other people had talked about. He was talking about physics. Yeah. And well, that struck a chord. And about shifting the body weight, letting the arms follow, shifting the body weight, letting the arms follow. And I've tried to give it a little go, but not had much success with this because I don't think I'm shifting weight properly. So, um, but I've been trying to work on that and just forgetting about the swing and just thinking, well, move your weight towards the target. And at least I can go out and not have technical thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Because exactly. I'm sick of bloody thinking. Yeah. I do it for a living. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Spend you're far too much time on the head. Exactly. You're yeah. in that analytical yeah. state yeah. a lot of the time. Not just the job you're in, but the way that you've been thinking about your golf. Mm. You've been essentially creating a form of modelling every time. Oh. It's interesting, like your research studies mm. are suggesting really a more naturally adaptive mm. response to oh. optimise mechanics, yeah, yeah. which is essentially what yeah. we're going to look at. Oh, that's a bit clean. That's a nice one. It's an upper body swing, isn't it? Oh. So the usual bad ones are fat. Yeah. Sometimes a bit thin. Let's have a look at those. It really tells a story of Pressure Trace. It creates a picture, it tells a story of what's going through your mind. What's going through my mind? Mm. <laughs> or what's gone through your mind. Oh, what's gone through your mind? Okay. Because there's a lot of interference going on here. Mm. So there's a lot of kind of, if you like, stagnation. Mm. It's really interesting when you swing the golf club how early your golf club, when I said your upper body dominant, this kind of, your golf club's already midway back here, yeah. and you've not really started unloading from the ground. You've got a loading, unloading pattern going on here. It's, so it's going up and down, and then now you start to unload as you start to get to the top and change direction, which is great. This is where the, the athlete in you kicks in, and it starts to become now more fluid. The problem we've got is, the journey we've, we've taken. When you talked about being contrived, this is mental noise mm. in the past. This is kind of, if you were chunky movement, mm. the pressure's really gonna be, it's gonna be living around here. Mm. When you're, if you're thinking about the swing, mm. it's gonna spend so long in this kind of space and not really moving. Mm. And so, and it becomes kind of more, more like an embedded pattern. Loading wise, 1,000, roughly 1,200 yeah. newtons maximum. Yeah. You're only creating- yeah, The baseline's about 900 newtons. Another 300 newtons. newtons. Yeah. You create more than that, walking. <laughs> <laughs> so you push off with more. So we've got to tap into your propulsion. Very interesting as well. This is, this is super interesting. Hi everyone, hope you're well. We've got a fantastic golf trip coming up. We had a brilliant trip at the Belfry and another amazing trip in Turkey, our first international one. And now we've got another one coming up at the end of January and it's in Abu Dhabi. If you follow the link below, 
you can get all the information it's going to be an amazing time an amazing location obviously fantastic weather four days of full intense coaching the full experience i hope you can make it check the details and we look forward to seeing you there you're loaded in your left heel mm -hmm. but you've got a torque in a negative direction i mean you are slightly offset but mm -hmm. you've certainly not got any rotational force yeah. from the ground this way yeah. but yet you're loaded in your left heel mm -hmm. you're down here in literally kind of it's that acceleration phase now and you've been mm. almost delivery you've not used any torque from the ground to get to here yeah. but you're, you're maximally loaded your body does its best to try and get some torque but it's it's all too late i've never had a video of myself i see very little going on down here but i can see loads going on up here because i'm like this yeah shoulders are being put i'm trying to generate something from up here you absolutely are if we're looking at force impulse we're going to be able to change direction really quick vertically and that linear momentum we've got to be able to stop and use that rotation but the thing is when you're getting down here to zero you've already gone ideally what we want to be doing is getting down to that zero velocity when you're here right because now it's stable yeah. for you to then push. Yeah. So that's your maximal load there. And then when you hit the ball, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and just go past 1,070. Mm. So we're, we're not even we're not using any load from the ground. So we need to get we need to get to work on that lower body. It amazes me every day. Um, just the degrees of freedom everyone possesses, but they're not working functionally within them. So it's kind of, we've all got a good golf swing in there somewhere. They're not exploring the degrees of freedom yeah. and the planes of motion. We're going to jump on the on the balance pads. We're going to find out what you think. Wants no to club. Do. No club to start no. with. We're going to make a walking action, and this is key for us. So heel to toe, both feet, and then we're going to use that action. So feel the air pressure. Use that pressure in the pads, and then we can start to rotate the belt buckle with it and use that. So the speed is coming from tipping back and forth. Yes, then you're getting a bit of a hip hike. This is going to be the opportunity there, and if we can hike the hips, we can drop the hip, and then we can yeah. we can load. That feel a bit different? Yeah. Just step back onto the mat behind you and just feel how you can use the ground now. Yes. And that's a different way of using your big toe on your right foot. Mm. So without even talking about it, you've just basically started to do this. So instead of doing this, and then trying to get some push, so there, straight up yeah. Notice now, yeah. you don't need your shoulders. Yeah. Well, I haven't noticed. Right. Okay. Yeah. They're, just, they're just the one for the right, because yeah. what we've done is we've completely reorganised the tension in. Brilliant. Different feel? Yeah, I feel like I need to change my grip. Somehow, feel like it needs to shift, my hands need to shift. In what because way? When I'm up here, mm -hmm. it's putting stress on the thumb, so I need to, it feels like my thumb needs to be to support in a different it. place to support the wrist. Mm -hmm. cock, like, yeah. uh. So this is the SAQ element, yes, the timing pattern. Because what you're essentially doing is you're moving pressure. That bang on the board, that pressure's now in the right foot. Mm -hmm. Whereas it kind of get, it only gets halfway and then starts stopping. So here you've got no, no option, mm -hmm. you're there. So now, keep the foot on the, on the tennis ball and do the same thing but just using the tennis ball. There you go. You hear the whip on the club on the way back now. Yeah. Never thought of doing that to mm. Yeah. 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 But just, you've got to. Yeah. It's things, things are really, you know, you keep that still, you keep that, you know, they keep the flex in the right knee constant. And, yeah. Uh, you're just staying in flex here. Yeah. You've got to get extension from somewhere. So if you're not using this, where you get extension from, you're going to max out your thoracic yeah. and you're getting lumbar stress now. And then as soon as you rotate with a bit of side bend mm -hmm. too, it's like you're just stressing out mm -hmm. this. Find that flow. Yeah. And then whenever you want to, you're going to pop into a finish. Mm -hmm. And that's your final finish. So the up and down thing. Yeah, and whenever you feel like it, you pop off that left side into a finish. Yes. <laughs> and hold it there and look at the screen where you've gone to. That's where you finished. Yeah. But this is where you went to yeah. in your golf swing before the finish. Yeah. So you can't go there once you're there. Yeah. You're already, you've already reached that destination. It's just a bit of rewiring for your timing, that's all. That's what super that is. That's a flow. Let's play a few shots. It's a nice, easy pace where you can you can feel it. The timing of that's that spring. Well done.
Interesting shot dispersion. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's going to be all over the shop at the minute, <laughs> but that's okay. At the minute, you're scrapping around trying to find a strike, which is, I want you to do that, so you, we can now differentiate when we do this, and you can start to feel, actually, this strike's not got anything to do with this. Mm. It's actually where I am in space, mm. and how I'm moving through space, and the time of, of that movement. We're moving into a space where we're creating those mechanical advantages all the time for the body. It's like kicking a ball, trying to curl a ball right to left, you start doing this give you an advantage to go that way. So it's kind of the same thing in the swing. We're just moving into a place so we can let this thing go and trust it. So this could go, now drop. This could go even lower. So drop, drop, yeah, drop. there we go. Well done. Don't worry, wonder it felt good. Mm. Might put the blind scope on actually. Ooh, that light. sounded oh. unreal. Come out a lot lower, didn't it? Oh. Touch of a, a touch of a draw. Touch of a draw. Which is what you'd expect with a downward power. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Lovely. And see how just how far I can go forward and down. Yeah, mm. but that's dependent on how fast you can mm. spring. Mm. Yes. Wow. Oh. The fizz yeah. on that. <laughs> Oh, I felt like a golf shot. <laughs> <laughs> Different feel, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, also made it that way. Same kind of shape, yeah. little draw, because we're in down, we've got the path to the right then, yeah. without having to try for it. You don't really have to shift that much to the right. Yeah. Yes, that's superb. What you, what's going to start to happen is, you're not going to need as much of this in your golf yeah. swing, because you're getting all that movement from the body. Nice. Oh, the, shot. the flight is 15 foot down. I keep forgetting, I'm trying to think of coming up, I'm forgetting to go down first. I'll go down. Yeah, then to go up. <laughs> Just go into your back swing, drop and pop. That's it. And then this one squashes that one. Right. Yes. So, yeah, so you went. That was good, but then you went like this. Right. We don't want to be using this actively, so I wouldn't even do it because I'm going to take you into a different place in a minute with the vertical, mm. because this will all happen as a result of you pushing. Try and squash that ball with this one, so you're just using the left side. That's it, yeah. So that this ball will go like, it goes like that, up and then goes across, up and then down. That's it. Well done. If I just think about the down, the up happens. Yeah. But uh, that's a good that sort of response. If you get there, yes. if you get there, then I can. Let it react. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that natural spring as a response. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Feel good? Yeah, I love it than that. I feel like I'm doing a lot more of it than I am doing as well. A lot more powerful, but I'm not doing anything with this, mm. which is nice. Well, doing less at least. It's good. The flight's strong. Because mm. you de-lofted it, basically. Uh. What I want to do now is just to go into the, onto the vector map. I want you to feel the extension a bit more. Drop, pop. So it's drop. Oh, God. Uh. Yeah. Brilliant. More between blue and yellow now. Yes. Right up onto the toes, we want to see some spring. So drop, pop, or one. Yes, spring. Keep the foot neutral so you're not rotating it externally. There, that's it. Shortening of the arch, raising of the heel. Brilliant. Awesome. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Different sound, isn't it? <sighs> Yeah. It's just the start. Fantastic. That shape and flight is just... Nice feel. Yeah. Heavy. 166. What do you normally carry that? About 160. Yeah. Yeah, 155, 160 or something. It was a bit heavy, that one. A bit chunky. That was a bit chunky. Yeah, that was beautiful. 
173. Look at that flight. That's lovely. One seventy. Same flight. Yeah, exactly the same flight. Oh, one seven eight. Yeah, hit that one. Oh, <laughs> 178. 20 yard increase. Oh, that was even better. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That was fantastic. Unreal, oh, spring. Man. Really good with the low body. Yeah, the spring. 181. Oh. So with the driver, mm. same thing. 